Hey everyone, at long last, it is finally time for Double Masters Bingo. So here's what happened during uh, spoiler season for Double Masters. Uh, I whipped up this little bingo card like I had done for Ultimate Masters and I sent it to Rudy. And turns out he didn't end up using it. Uh, he ended up doing um, like 16 lots of the VIP packs and it didn't end up working with the bingo card or he decided not to use it uh, due to complexity, I don't know. So we never ended up seeing it. With my package that I sent to him, I had uh, put a self-addressed stamped envelope and requested that he signed, that he would sign a card for me and then this bingo card and send it back. I didn't hear back forever from the guy. I'm like, okay, he's, he's busy. I, I know, he's running an empire. What can I, what can I say? Sure. So I just kind of forgot about it. And then we kind of crossed paths on eBay a bit. He tried to buy a box from me. And uh, we talked a little bit. And he said, hey, I sent you that card back a long time ago. I'm like, well, I never got it. Like, yeah, whatever. It was just a just a nothing card. And then a week later, he contacts me again. He says, you're never going to believe this. It came back undeliverable. And I knew right away what happened. The mailman doesn't know me as tragic. So he sent it back. So I had Rudy send me it back and I finally, at long last, have my ass whooping. Custom altered by the man himself. It's hilarious, ass whooping Timmy. So there, I at least got my card. And now, for your viewing pleasure, I'm gonna actually go through this, this double bingo card that I made. Cause hey, I made it, you know I mean? I'm gonna do it. So it is kind of customized for Rudy, so we'll do it in that style. And uh, see how we do. Open up this box. So I whipped this up um, pretty much the first week of Double Master Spoilers. So it's kind of missing some of the stuff that probably was spoiled the uh, the second week. Let's see, where's my where's my box toppers? Uh oh. Ah! Woo! There they there they are. So we'll save that one for last. Um, but if you can see here, hopefully some of this stuff will make sense. Some of it probably won't make any sense because it was only going to make sense to me anyway. Um, this was before um, we probably figured filter lands were not that big of a deal in here. A lot of the stuff has gone down in price, so it's not super exciting anymore. Um, I thought the Karn art was really goofy, so I've got the, uh, the Schwarzenegger saying there. Um, so let's see how we do on my bingo. And uh, just have some fun. Here we go. Double Masters Bingo. Two rares, two foils, and a bunch of commons, which will have nothing much to do with this. So we're just going to kind of scoot on through. Welding Jar. Some nice little artifacts. If we get a few of those, we'll mark that space off. Flicker Wisp. Get a Time Sieve. And a Basilisk Collar. There we go. Rudy's Dog Collar right there. So we'll go ahead and mark that one off. And we've got a Thraven Inspector and a Yavamai's Embrace. Here we go now. Let's do commons, foils, and other stuff here. Okay, great. Let's get that bingo. And, ooh, Ancient Stirrings. We'll pull that and put it in the uncommon slot. I'll get to that later. Manamorphose. Nice little uncommon software engineer, Ash Barons, Sword of the Meek. Some nice little artifacts. We're gonna mark off that spot right there. Grim Lava Mancer, the lava, the lava mancer reach around. Yep, because that one's not that big of a deal. So nice little artifacts. Okay, so we're on our way to bingo here. Grim Lava Mancer, Parasitic Strix, and Crushing Vines. There we go. Um and a token that can go over there. Masters again. I think I'll, I'll scan these all up at the end like I usually do and make it a full actual tragic production here. Hey, there's an abrade. We'll pull that. Invigorate. Sarah Sphinx. Skull Mulcher. Rugged Prairie. There we go. We're going to track these over here. We are going to go for the four filter land challenge. I figured, hey, you might be able to get four out of a box. Bloodsport Thrynax, Goblin Galvalier, and Aberration, and a Servo. Alright. Oh, I forgot the free space is Rudy's Hairy Arms. Tragic, tragically, has the equal amount. 
Battle Royale Shaman. Expedition map. That's what we're calling. Definitely said this set is all about artifacts, so we're almost guaranteed to get that. Weapons Trainer, Disciple of the Vault, Galvanic Blast, and Snaring Bridge. Very nice. I don't know if I have such a thing on here. Um, I'll bet Ensnaring Bridge is worth about 40 bucks. So I'll go ahead and mark off the inaccurate price estimates. And a Noble Hierarch. Very nice. So um, that's really nice. I like it. Go ahead and slap my second armpit, slather it in Enchirito sauce, and mail it to the Prime Minister of New Zealand. We'll mark that right off there for a Noble Hierarch. Lightning Axe and a Silimgar Scavenger. We're on our way here. It's tough to get a bingo though. Just the way that they're ordered. It's all luck of the draw here. Chromatic Star, we'll pull that one. Scan it up later. Got Is It Charm, Esperzoa, Mirror Smith, Blasphemous Act, Blink Moth Nexus, and some foils, Everflowing Chalice. That's probably pretty decent. There we go. Kind of crowded over here. Let's see. Order. Gelatinous Genesis, Sphinx of the Guild Pack, Rush of Knowledge, Death Shadow, Eric, very good. Uh, Eric's Mythy's Slumbering Isle, so I don't think either of those was going to be on this here, and I don't think they're they're not five to ten dollar rares yet, so we got to kind of step it up here a bit. Elemental Token, very nice. Sylvan Might, Power Plant, we'll pull those, Chalice, Non-Foil, maybe nothing big, got a Throne of Geth, Pongify, O Naginata, and a Mesmeric Orb, there we go, that's uh, very nice, uh, I'm going to say that's probably about a $5 rare, Rice the Redeemed, I believe is spiking right now, so I'm going to count that, those are 5 to $10 rares right there, Prince Wizard, Painsmith, and Elf Warrior Token, Tamir Battle Rage. Full disclosure, it might have been the other rice that's actually spiking now. Crop Rotation. Gore Clan Rampager. Basalt Monolith. Crag and Wick Cremator. He's actually on here. Who even wants this? During spoiler season, I was dismayed to see cards like that. Wrath of God, though, that's pretty nice. Cloud Reader Sphinx. Whisper of the Wilds. Would love to get three mythics in one pack, so I can say that. Into stirrings, lightning axe, chromatic star again. Got the treasure keeper, dismantle, path to exile, well of ideas, brudeclad, and a Urza's tower in foil. And we'll throw that one there, and this one there, and that one there. Not getting those other filter lands. Um, let's see here. What else? What else is in here? I don't even know if Chromatic Star is any good anymore. Painsmith, Pyrewell Shaman, Reclamation Sage, Omegas of the Abyss, Merciless Eviction, Orcish Vandal, and a Mere Retriever. Nothing big there. I would say Omegas of the Abyss is a card that nobody cares about. Nobody cares about this card. I'm going to mark that one off there. Alright. Cast down the Brainstorm Expedition Map. Some good, some good commons that were uncommon. Some of that stuff. Bloodshot Trainee. Culling Deus. Thirst for Knowledge. Fulminator Mage. See... What people need to understand is we're in a time where Fulminator Mage is not nearly worth what it used to be worth. It's actually worth a lot less than that. Go to Bandit Warlord, Surge Node, 
Mystics. Tuck tuck. A tuck tuck token. Oh yeah, I forgot. Welcome to the double thunderdome. We're gonna mark that one off too. Hey, we're almost there. We just need a Dr. Jace for a bingo here. There's his power plant. Chalice. Ravenous Intruder, Fatal Push, more Crypt Banshee, and Brea, Ethereum Shaper. Very nice. Is that Rudy's creepy neighbor? Absolutely. For the for this purposes, it is. And a Bosch Iron Golem, another creepy neighbor. Spirit and a, th a Foil Thrag Tusk. And that definitely is a card that nobody cares about at this point. But there it is as a foil. That used to be big when it was in standard. Capsule. Got the Is It Charm in large. Kaldotha Flame Fiend. Vishkal. Blood Arbiter. Skirzdag Heist Priest and a couple of uh, creepy neighbors there. And we got a Fortify and a Costly Plunder. What do we got left here? Just the exciting stuff, mainly. The VIP boxes took all of the thunder out of this set, I think. We got a Riddlesmith, Sandstone Oracle, Cranial Plating, Rage Reflection. So we got a, a Reflected Rudy. I was going to do that for any of the Reflection cards. So, a Greater Good. Monitor and an Abomination. Naturalists, a braid, diffuser, springleaf drum, clone shell, valorous stance, and a firelit thicket. Whoops, way off the camera here. So, a couple of the filter lands here Grand Architect, got a foil of braid, and a tumble magnet, and an angel. Alright, what's, what's going to give us the bingo here? Hinder, Hidden Stockpile, Brimstone Volley, Graven Cairn, so that's three filter lands. Austere Command, not the best command. Frogify and a Gleaming Barrier. Alright, let's do it. We need, we need some big mythics out of here. We've got a couple, I guess, but they're not the big ones yet. Lightning Axe. Hers is mine, so I was gonna do this also for uh, for this space here. Wow, you guys know what I'm talking about. We'll mark that one off. So now we just need Rudy's parents' basement there. Dark Steel Citadel, Golem Artisan, Glass Dust Hulk, and a Thought Seize. Get those thoughts right there. That's a good card. Geth, Lord of the Vault, another Mythic. Fencing Ace. Alright. Aberration. Veteran Explorer, Mistress Bobble. Some good little artifacts. Chief of the Foundry. Chrome Mox. Speaking of good artifacts, there we go. Take that one. There's a Mythic. Maze of Ith, not a Mythic. Sift and an Icor Wellspring, so it would be really tough to get three Mythics out of a regular pack, I think. Chatter. Got a Buried Ruin. Oubliette. Lightning Greaves, very nice. And a Blood Moon. Nice little rare. Champion of Lamholt, solid card. Ashburn is going to remember. Alright, come on. Let's get it here. We need one more filter land. That'll probably probably be it here. Rinse it stirrings again. Mine. 
Core Tapper Treasure Mage Woodland Champion. Fetid Heath, there it is. Got the four filter land challenge completed. Right there. Bingo! And a sculpting steel. And a full monolith. Oh my god! Double bingo. Unbelievable. Four mana crypt. So when I opened my VIP packs, I actually ended up with a couple of the show or the uh, box topper style. I'll take another one. Grab myself a little sleeve here. Put it in there. And put it in a top loader right away so it doesn't curl into a telescope. There we go. Put that here to show it off. All right, feeling good about my bingo box here. What else do I got? What else you got for me? Brainstorm, Manamorphose. Oops, yep. Guild Mage, Trash for Treasure, High Market, and a Skitherix, the Blight Dragon. I don't think I had him on here. Iron Bully, Phyrexian Revoker, Foil Rare. Salivating gremlins. They're kind of the worst kind of gremlins, I gotta say. Another mine. Salvagers, Master Splicer, Yava Mizen Brief, Ravenous Trap, Arkham Dagsin. So we got uh, another Mythic. I think that's one that's come down from where he was at. A couple of foilies. A couple of packs left. Mistress Bobble, Unlicensed Disintegration, Pentad Prism, Kalia of the Vast. Get another Mythic, Magus of the Will, Shaman, and a Cobra. Alright, last pack. What is in here? Power Plant. Factory, Treasure Mage, Topple the Statue, Wound Reflection. Very nice art. I do like the new art on that. And Falcon Wrath of Aristocrat. And nothing much there. Okay, let's do this box topper. So I believe these are non foil box toppers. Let's see if I can get something good. Out. I'd like to get a sword. I hadn't seen a sword out of that whole thing. Will the box topper save the box? Can I open them without wrecking them? Gosh, okay. Hold on. Okay. Number one, exploration. Very nice. I'll take that. And. Ooh! Oh my god. Would you look at that art? I nailed it. Right there. It doesn't give me a double bingo, but I'll take it. That's great. I did not get one of these out of my VIP boxes, so in non-foil, I will still be happy with it. Love it. Gorgeous card. All right. Hey, that's that. So I will uh, work on scanning these up, and I'll give you guys a total here in a second.
That's all my rares, mythics, and uncommons that were good. Let's do these. Got an exploration. Borderless, 34. We got a force of will. Showcase, borderless. Can see it through the sleeve? Okay, we'll take it out of the sleeve. Do it again. Force of Will Borderless, $186. I like it. All right. Foil Mana Crypt, regular style. The normal is 100 bucks. The foil is 142 Not too shabby for a bingo box. All right, there you have it. Um... I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Bingo!